Man, I remember times where I would just be like, God, if you do this for me, then I'll do this and I'll never do that again. And I promise I'll be really, really good and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one that's done that. I know you've probably did it too. So make sure you watch this video because this is for you. Hello again. Welcome back to The Lifestyle. My name is Chanel and I'm back with another video for you guys. So this will be super, super quick. I just wanted to come to you guys this week um, because something has really just been catching my attention all week long. No joke. Um, it's been repeating um, itself in different devotionals I've been reading, different um, sermons I've been hearing, and God has literally just been repeating it to me in my heart and in my mind, um, just really trying to get a clear message to me, and I really believe it's not just for me, it's for everyone, and so I'm here to share it with you all today. So I want us to do some self-examining today, um, something that's been popping up over and over again for me has been motives and um, just kind of examining your motives and um, trying to see if your motives are pure, just kind of a heart check. Let the motives of your actions be driven not for the hand of God, but for the heart of God. You don't have to win God's heart. You don't have to win God's love because it's freely given. God is not our sugar daddy. We should not be sitting here with our hands out and like, Lord, please do this, please do this, or even just, okay, well, let me do this over here so God can do this for me. Let me pray twice a week or twice a day so that God will continue to bless me. Let me do this. No, our actions should drive from, let me do this because I really want to please God. Let me pray because I want to please God. I want to get closer to God. I want to seek the heart of God. I want to seek the character of God. When our motives are driven from seeking, purely seeking the heart of God, we begin to build God's character. We begin to um, see our lives transform. So as God was showing me this, I really started to think about the story of the Hebrew boys. So if you don't know what that is about, um, I'll sum it up for you shortly. So basically there were three brothers, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these brothers were devoted to God. They were devoted to serving God and they weren't about to let nobody get in their way. Like they meant like we're gonna serve God and we're gonna serve God with our whole hearts. And so they were working for the king and um, with their friend Daniel, you know. And one day the king, he built this golden statue of himself. Well, he didn't build it, but he had it built for him. And he decreed that um, there would be this time and a ceremony of worship. And when the trumpets would sound, all of the people would bow down and worship this statue. And so obviously that went against the decree of the Lord. And so Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego was not having it. They were like, yeah, about that. We ain't about to do that, so no. And so basically the punishment for not following this decree of the king was that you would be stuck into the fiery furnace. And so this fiery furnace was like a huge fireplace and like you would die quickly. And so, the time came where they were supposed to, you know, bow down to this golden statue and they were the only three left standing by themselves. <laughs> and so while everybody's like, yo, what y'all doing? They're like, yeah, no. So the king is furious. He's like, why you not bow down to my statue? And they're like, we will not bow down to any other gods besides our God. Um, and so the king is furious at this point. So he's like, you know what? Turn the heat up seven times to what it was. And y'all about to die today. <laughs> and so that story is super long. But the reason why I thought of that story immediately when I thought of not seeking God's hand, but seeking God's heart in your actions, something that they said really, really struck 
me. During that moment when the king, you know, basically told them, we're about to stick you in the fiery furnace, it's over for you. Um, they stood up and they said, you know what, our God is so great that he is able to deliver us from your hand. He is able to deliver us from this fiery furnace that you want to put us in. But even if he does not, we still will not bow to you. And that but even if he doesn't was the moment where we all could see that all three of those boys were not doing things just to seek God's blessing. They weren't doing things. They didn't just not bow because they knew that God could deliver them. They also took it a step further and said, because we are not seeking God's hand, but we are seeking God's heart, we're not gonna bow to you. We're not gonna bow to your statue, but we are gonna stay true to God's word and we're gonna stay true to what we believe. So I urge you to ask yourself, what is my why? What is your why behind your actions or the things that you're doing? Is it to get something from God or is it to please God? Is it to show a step of obedience because that is what pleases God? Or is it, well, I know if I do this, then God will do this for me because that's not really a guarantee. That's just what you're seeing. But when you please God, when you seek to please God, um, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. When you seek to please him, he will honor you. All these things will be added unto you as a result. But it's not because you're seeking his hand. It's because you're seeking his heart. And when you seek his heart, his hand is automatically stretched out to you. So let's talk about it. I love hearing from you guys. In the comments below, tell us about a time where maybe you were seeking God's hand instead of his heart and how you are or will begin to seek his heart instead. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications because you don't wanna miss the videos that we have coming up pretty soon. I will introduce you guys to my fiance. I have some wedding business videos coming up as well as some more encouraging videos. So you definitely don't wanna miss those. And as always, share, share, share this video. You never know who will need it. And don't forget, we're just like you. We just think different. Yeah, that's right, 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 that's right